how to burn belly fat. The first thing you need to understand is fat is a form of energy. It has two energy sources, fat and carbs. And your hormones dictate which energy source you will use. So how do you end up with all this energy on your belly but you can't burn it? Glucagon and insulin are two hormones in your body that help when with fat When your glucagon burning. is high, your insulin is They are like opposites, just like your biceps and your when triceps. When your biceps are contracting, you cannot contract your triceps and vice versa. When this is high, this is low, you're burning fat. When your glucagon is low, your insulin is high, you're burning carbs. So let's say you just finished dinner and your insulin levels went up. Your glucagon levels went down. And remember what that means, you're now burning carbs. Because you got to burn the dinner you just However, ate. every food has a different effect on your insulin and glucagon levels. Look at the levels. effects of insulin levels from carbs compared to protein so and fat. you have a high carb dinner like pasta or pizza, or roti or a bunch of rice your insulin levels will shoot up a lot higher compared to a compared to a meal that's rich in protein and fat and lower in carbs or has a more fibrous carbs i like to call this rule ffp fiber fat and protein well now your insulin only spiked that high so so let's say you finish your dinner at 7 pm and at 8 pm you start fasting by 12 o'clock your blood sugar normalize by 2 am your insulin levels drop and by 4 am your glucagon level will go up this is if you had a healthy meal, if you had pasta and pizza and high carbs and alcohol, this is not going to happen. Now when you wake up at 7 a.m., you just started with a high carb breakfast like this, your insulin goes back up, your glucagon goes back down, you don't really burn fat and the hunger kicks in, you're craving for more food and you end up eating even more calories. So now if you just fast until around 11 to 12, you got an extra 4 to 5 hours of fat burning. And if you control your dinner with FFP, your insulin levels will come down faster and your glucagon levels will go up faster. The more fibrous your carbs, the lower the insulin spike. Follow this FFP rule with every meal. Now, now you become a fat burning machine. You're not hungry. Your cravings are gone. Mentally, you're not crashing and you can do all of this without counting calories. And you can probably maintain a calorie deficit because you're not hungry. So here's some signs to see if you, your insulin levels are high. And look, here is some more signs you end up getting hungrier you crave more sugar, you have no focus, no ambition, you're always tired because your body is depending, dependent on burning carbs for fuel. That, um, and that's why you're not burning the, the value fat and the food industry doesn't want you burning your own fat because they want to sell you more food. You follow this principle, I promise you, you become a fat burning machine.